boy, Lionheart, and I'm back. Feels good, man. Look, I ain't gonna waste no time. We're gonna get straight into it, yeah? So, as I'm recording this, yeah, it is 1800 hours 19. Cyberpunk 2077, official Twitter account, they tweeted out at 17.02, 100 hours, an important development update. And this is what they said. We have decided to move the launch of Cyberpunk 2077 from September 17th to November 19th. Those of you who are familiar with the way we make games know that we won't ship something which is not ready. Ready when it's done is not a phrase we say because it sounds right. It's something we live by, even when we know we'll take the heat for it. At the same time, we are fully aware that making such a decision costs us your trust and trading trust for additional time is one of the hardest decisions a game developer can make. And despite we think it's the right decision for the game, we'd still like to apologize for making you wait longer. Our intention is to make Cyberpunk 2077 something that will stay with you for years to come. In the end, we hope you understand why we did what we did. At the time we're writing these words, Cyberpunk 2077 is finished, both content and gameplay wise. The quests, the cutscenes, the skills, the items, all the adventures Night City has to offer, it's all there. But with such an abundance of content and complex systems interweaving with each other, we need to properly go through everything balance game mechanics and fix a lot of bugs. A huge world means a number of things to iron out and we will spend the additional time doing exactly that. This week, journalists from all over the world are starting to independently play the game. We are eager and quite stressed to hear their opinions as well as see your reactions when they publish their previews right after we air Night City Wire on the 25th of June. I didn't even know that was happening. <laughs> um, we hope this will satisfy some of your hunger for the game as we work to polish it for the November launch. All right. So to be honest with you, I ain't got no problem with that. I would rather... They delay the game and just fine tune it, man. Make the game godlike. Don't mess about. Don't um, release a buggy, incomplete game just to get the money out and satisfy people. Because that's the short game. The long game is what you're playing for, which is a godlike game, godlike quality, everybody's happy. Everybody loves it, no problems. If you wanna if the game is so successful and you want to add things to it, you don't need to worry about fixing the game and adding um new patches and updates to fix the game because people find bugs with the mechanics or they find how you can do instant kills or you know, the game's like glitching out where the people are falling through the floor or stuff just isn't working properly. Or when you're attacking somebody, the damage is not calculated properly. So I'd rather they take the time. Two months is what's needed. Take it. I do not have a problem with that. Right? I mean, two months is a long time, man. You know, a lot of things. You could do a lot of things in two months. Right? So, I mean, to me, I'm not into wasting time. Right, so I'm not waiting for Cyberpunk 2077. I'm getting on with it, which I think is bad for the con for the actual game itself because you've got the consoles that are coming out, right? PS5, 
and the Xbox Series X. And they say it's going to be coming out, you know, towards the ending of the year, holiday 2020, right? So what does that mean for Cyberpunk 2077? You know, it 20, okay, so when they say it was originally going to come out September 17th, that could have meant it was coming out before, which it probably did. It was going to come out definitely before the next gen consoles. But now it's coming in November. That basically means it might come out after the new consoles come out, which I doubt. You know, if I'm honest with you, I think the PS5 and the Xbox Series X is probably going to come out like December the 31st or something like that. Or some crazy um, time like that. That's what I think. You know, they're going to leave it to the last second of the last month of the last day of the last second uh, to release that um, game in 2020 and um, console in 2020 you know but what do i know right so i don't know man i don't know i mean I'm, I'm cool with it you know i wasn't really too interested in cyberpunk to be honest with you after they revealed that it was going to be a third person game like that really annoyed me Right, because I don't like playing first-person games. You know, I make no um, false pretenses about that. I mean, yeah, I play Borderlands and I like Halo. But those are just games that I like that happen to be first-person, right? And I just, their games are so good, I just allow it and I look past it. So, Cyberpunk 2077... I've come round to the idea of it being third person. And I'm going to look at the game. I am interested in the game. Now I've got all the games out of the way. You know, I've got my Persona out of the way. Borderlands. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 3. Devil May Cry. Um, Monster Hunter. Xenoblade Chronicles. At the beginning of the year, I had so many games on my plate. I wasn't even thinking about uh, Final Fantasy 7. Uh, remake. The best game ever created, right? Now my mind is clear. I am more into the idea of Cyberpunk 2077, right? But I'm not count. I don't count the days for no game. I chill, and when the game comes out, the game comes out, right? But as I said, two months, it's massive. But I'd rather they take the time to make the game clean because the game's got a lot of mechanics in it you know they say they've got like you know you can play the game as like a, a hacker where you can do fights and you can hack um enemies that you're fighting against or you could do stealth or you could do brute force or you could have like um all guns out blazing or you can there's like so many different types of mechanics and uh, moving parts in this game that I, I completely understand it. These guys have never made a first-person game before, right? You know, even when you look at Witcher, you know, you look at Witcher 3, that game was godlike for the story, but the fighting system, the actual gameplay system where you fight against enemies and bosses and monsters and ghouls and ghosts and demons and witches and vampires and all sorts of crazy monsters and stuff, the system, fighting system was garbage. It wasn't great at all. It wasn't very good, right? But the game was so good. The world was so outstanding. The story, the cutscenes, the characters that you overlooked how bad the fighting system was. And it did have um, a lot of, you know, gory aspects to the combat. So when the enemy's life is very low, and you slash them, the game will zoom in, and it will just, and then Geralt will just cut off the arm, and then cut the torso in half, right, and stuff like that. So when you look at it, it was very um, gratifying seeing that you just eviscerated the um, person that tried to oppose you, right, and it just distracts from the fact that the fight system was just not great because you do a finisher that would just like lop off the head and cut off the arm and then the leg or then just cut off the torso or cut off the top of the head or whatever and it's like whoa you know so i'm interested to see 
the game and how well they do a free system. You know, where it's third person. And it's got driving. And it's got stealth. And it's got shooting. And it's got physical, like, slashing mechanics, you know. Because you're going to have, like, blades coming out of your arms and stuff. Right? So I want to see how they make the game in its whole entirety. And because it's their first time making a third-person, drive-in, RPG, open-world action game, right? With incredible depth of character customization you have to give it to them even though this game has been in development for what seven years now i mean the first time i heard about cyberpunk 2077 was in i think it was 2013 right so is this this game is it even gonna be considered a next gen console game i don't think so you know so Let's kill it, man. That's all I really wanted to say about it. You know, just telling you that, you know, most important aspect. 2077, Cyberpunk has been delayed again. All right, Warriors. Um, we're going to cut it here. EA have got a, um, a showcase of their games and everything that they're going to be doing um, today. I don't really care about it. I'm, I'm going to watch it. I have zero expectations for EA, essentially. Zero. Right. But we'll still watch it. Give it a chance and see what they're going to be releasing. If there's anything that I care about or I find interesting, I'm going to let you guys know. All right, Warriors. Until my next video, take care, stay blessed, and be better. Later, Warriors.